بسم الله in this video I'm going to solve Cambridge IGCSE Mathematics Paper 4 May 2020 Variant 1 1A In 2018 Gretel earned $32,000 She paid tax of 24% on these earnings Work out the amount she paid in tax in 2018 To find the amount of tax Multiply 24% by 32,000. 24% this means 24 over 100 times 32,000 equals 7,680. Double I. In 2019, Gretel's earnings increased by 7%. Work out her earnings in 2019. So it was 100 increased by 7 now 107 before the increase it was 32,000 so after the increase cross multiply to find the answer so 32,000 multiply 107 divide by 100 equals 34,240 dollars the greater invest $5,000 at a rate 2% per year compound interest calculate the value of her investment at the end of 3 years so the rule for the compound interest the principal which is 5000 into 1 plus the rate which is 2 over 100 power 3 the number of years equals 5306.1 C. One month Gretel spent a total of $360 on presents. She spent one over five of this total on presents for her parents. She spent two over three of the remaining money on presents for her friends. She spent the rest of the money on presents for her sisters. Calculate the percentage of $360 that she spent on her on presents for her sisters so first she spent one over five of the total for her parents so one over five multiply 360 equals 72 dollars now the remaining the remaining 360 minus 72 equals 288 dollars she spent two over three of the remaining on presents for her friends. So two over three times 288 equals $192. Now she spent the rest of the money for on presents for her sisters. So the rest of the money, 360 minus 72 plus 192 equals 96 now to find the percentage of 360 so divide 96 by 360 and multiply by 100 equals 26.7 percent to three significant figures d arjun earned $36,515 in 2019. This was an increase of 9% on his earnings in 2018. Work out his earnings in 2018. So increased by 9%. This means it was 100. Increased by 9. Now 109. After the increase, 36515 so we need before the increase so 36515 times 100 divide by 109 equals 33500 e Arjun and Greta each pay rent in 2018 the ratio of the amount each paid in rent was Arjun to Greta 5 to 7 in 2019, the ratio of the amount each paid in rent was Arjun to Gretel 
9 to 13. Adrian paid the same amount of rent in both 2018 and 2019. Gretel paid $290 more rent in 2019 than she did in 2018. Work out the amount of Adrian paid in rent in 2019. First, it's given to you that Arjun paid the same amount of rent in both 2018 and 2019. So, the number of parts for Arjun in 2018, 5, and for 2019, 9. So, we need to make the same number of parts for Arjun because he paid the same amount. So, you can multiply the first ratio by 9 and the second ratio by 5. To have the same number of parts so multiply the first ratio by 9 and the second ratio by 5 now the ratio between Arjun to Gretel 45 to 63 in 2018 and in 2019 the ratio between Arjun and Gretel times 5 times 5 so 45 to 65 now we have the same number for Arjun. Now the difference in parts for Gretel in 2019 and 2018, two bars because 65 minus 63. So 65 minus 63, we have two bars. The two bars equals $290. $290. Now we need to find the amount that Arjun paid. Arjun paid 45 parts. So 45 parts equals how many dollars? Now cross multiply. So 45 times 290 divided by 2 equals $6,525. Number 2. The heights each meters of 120 boys in athletics club are recorded. The table shows information about the heights of the boys. Write down the model class. The model class is the class which has the greatest frequency. Now for the frequency, the greatest frequency 30. So this is the model class. So H more than 1.5 and less than or equal 1.6. Double I. Calculate an estimate of the mean height. To find the mean height, you need to find the middle value for each class, then multiply by the frequency, then divide by the total frequency. So to find the middle value between 1.3 and 1.4, add them, then divide by 2. It's 1.35. Next one, 1.4, 1.5, so 1.45, and so on. 1.55. 1.65, 1.75, Now multiply the middle value by the frequency for each class. 1.45 times 18, 1.55 times 30, 1.65 times 24, 1.75 times 27, and 1.85 times 14 then divide by the total frequency which is 120 equals 1.62 to 3 significant figures bi one boy is chosen at random from the club find the probability that this boy has a height greater than 1.8 meter greater than 1.8 we have 14 and the total 120 so the probability 14 over 120 you don't need to simplify for double i three boys are chosen at random from the club calculate the probability that one of the boys has a height greater than 1.8 and the other two boys each have a height 1.4 or less 1.4 or less 
So greater than 1.8, we have 14 to choose from them. So the probability, 14 over 120. And so multiply. The other two boys each have a height 1.4 or less. 1.4 or less, we have 7 to choose from them. We need to choose 2 from 7. So for the first one, 7 over 119, because we already took 1 from 120. And the last one, 6 over 118. And because the order does matter, so we can choose the one has height greater than 1.8 first or second or third. So we have three ways. So multiply by 3. Equals 21 over 20,060. Or in details, we have three cases. The first case, if one boy, the first boy, is greater than 1.8 we have 14 to choose from them so 14 over 120 and the second boy 1.4 or less we have 7 so 7 over 119 and one more boy so 6 over 180 the second case we can start with one boy with height 1.4 or less so 7 over 120 and then one more boy from those with height 1.4 or less, so 6 over 119. And the last boy greater than, with height greater than 1.8, so 14 over 118. And the last one, you can start with one boy, 1.4 with height 1.4 or less, so 7 over 120. And then, one boy with height greater than 1.8, so 14 over 119. And the last one, one from the boys with height 1.4 or less, so 6 over 118. So this is the three cases. If you add them, you get the same answer. CI, use the frequency table on page 4 to complete the cumulative frequency table. This is a cumulative frequency table on page 4, so we need to use to complete the frequency table. Start with the first value, then add 7 plus 18 equals 25, 25 plus 30 equals 55, then 55 plus 24 equals 79, 79 plus 27 equals 106, 106 plus 14 equals 120. Double I on the grid draws a cumulative frequency diagram to show this information. So to draw cumulative frequency diagram, the upper value and the cumulative frequency, so 1.4 and 7, 1.5, 1.655 and so on. Then join them with the origin. So the first point, is the origin the second point 1.4 and 7 1.4 and 7 so 7 each small square represent 2 so this 7 1.4 and 7 then 1.5 and 25 so 1.5 and 25 1.5 and 25 1.5 and 25 1.655 1.655 1.7 1.779 1.779 1.8, 106, 1.8, 106, 1.9 and 120, so 
So this is the last point. Now join them with a small curve. D, use your diagram to find an estimate for the median height. To find the median, multiply the total frequency by half. So 1 over 20 times half equals 60. This is the order of the median. Now start from 60, draw horizontal line till you reach the curve. Now this is the median from 60, draw horizontal line till you reach the curve, then go down. So this is the median between 1.6 and 1.7. So this is 1.62. So the median, 1.62. For 40, 40th percentile, multiply 40% by 120. 40% times 120 to find the order. Equals 48. Now start from 48. Draw horizontal line till you reach the curve, then go down. So the 40 percentile is 1.58. 1.58 3a s equal ut plus half a t squared find the value of s when u equals 5.2 t equals 7 and a equals 1.6 so by substitution so 5.2 times 7 plus half 1.6 into 7 square equals 75.6 b simplify i 3a minus 5b minus a plus 2b combine the like terms 3a and minus a so 2a negative 5b and positive 2b negative 3b double i 5 over 3x times 9x over 20 you can simplify first. You can divide by 5. 5 divided by 5 equals 1. 20 divided by 5 equals 4. And we can cancel this x with that 1. Now 3 and 9 divisible by 3. So 3 divided by 3 equals 1. 9 divided by 3 equals 3. Now multiply. 1 times 3 and 1 times 4. So 3 over 4. C, solve 15 over x equals negative 3. Cross multiply. So 15 equals negative 3x. Then divide by negative 3. Divide by negative 3. So x equals negative 5. Double i. 4 times 5 minus 3x equals 23. Expand. 4 times 5. 20. 4 times negative 3. Negative 12x equals 23 you can transpose negative 12 x to the other side and 23 to the other side you are left with 12 x equals 20 minus 23 so 12 x equals negative 3 divide by 12 divide by 12 so x equal negative 3 over 12 or in the simplest form negative 1 over 4 d simplify 27x power 9 all power 2 over 3 distributes the power so 27 power 2 over 3 x power 9 power 2 over 3 27 power 2 over 3 equals 9 use your calculator to find the answer now if you have 2 power multiply them 9 times 2 over 3 equals 6 so x power 6 e expand and simplify 3x minus 5y times 2x plus y 3x times 2x 6x squared 3x times y 3xy negative 5y times 2x negative 10 yx or xy negative 5y times y negative 5y squared now combine the like terms so 6x squared, 3 minus 10, so negative 7xy, 
minus 5y squared. Number 4. Draw the image of triangle T after reflection in the line y equals negative 1. y equals negative 1, horizontal line intersect y axis at negative 1. So we need to draw the mirror line first. This y equals negative 1. Now find the image. For this point, this point, 2 up the mirror line. So it's image 2 down. So this is the image. And the same for this point, 2 up, so 2 down. For that point, 3 up, so 3 down. Now join the points. So this is the image by reflection on the line y equals negative 1. B, draw the image of a triangle T after rotation 90 clockwise about the origin. Rotation 90 clockwise. So about the origin, this is the center of rotation. So for this point, you can use tracing paper. Now we can solve without tracing paper. This is the center of rotation, the origin. Now we need to rotate triangle T 90 clockwise, so in this direction. Now for this point, from the center to reach this point, one left and one up, one left and one up. So if we rotate 90 clockwise, this will be one up and one to the right. So this is the image. And for that point, from the center, you need to move four to the left and one up, four left and one up. So it's image four up and one to the right. So this is the image. And for the last point, from the center, four and two, four left, two up. So four up and two to the right. Now join the triangle. So this is the image by rotation 90 clockwise about the origin. Now see, Describe for the single transformation that maps triangle T into triangle A. So from T to A, this translation to find the column vector for translation, take this point and its image. So to travel from this point to that one, you need to move to the right, one, two, three, four, five, five to the right, and one, two, three, four, five, six. So six down. So 5 to the right and 6 down. So this translation. Five to the right, so five positive and six down, so negative six. So five negative six. Number five. X is an integer, the universal set. X such that X more than or equal 41 and less than or equal 50. A x such that x is an odd number, b x such that x is a multiple of 3, c x such that x is a prime number, complete the Venn diagram. So you can write each set by listing method. So for the universal, from 41 till 50, so 41, 42, 43, and so on till 50. And now for set a, the odd numbers included in the universal, so 41, 43, 45, 47, and 49. Set B, the multiples of 3 between 41 and 50, so 42, 45, and 48. Now set C is the prime numbers from 41 to 50. The prime numbers between 40 and 41 and 50, 41 prime, because divisible by itself and 1, 43 prime, and 47 prime. So we have three numbers. Now to represent these sets by Venn diagram, first, we need to find the common elements between the three sets. 
this common element should be written here. So between A and B and C, no common elements between them. So this region has no elements. Now between A and B, take them two by two. Between A and B, what is the common elements between A and B? Because this common element should be written here because there is no element in this region. So the common elements between A and B, we have 45 common. No more, so write 45 in this region. Now between A and C, between A and C, A and C, we have 41 common, 43 common, and 47 common. So all C common. So 41, 43, 47. Now between B and C, between B and C, no common, so this region has no elements. Now we need to complete each set. A contains 41, 43, 45, 47, 49, 41 written, 43 written, 45 written, 47 written. So we need to add 49 in this region. Now for set B, we have 42, 45, 48, 45 written. So add 42 and 48 in this region. 42, 48. Now for C, we have three elements, 41, 43, 47. All of them written, so you don't need to add any more. Now for the universal, we have 41, 42 till 50, 41 is written, 42 written, 43 written, 44, so we need to write 44 outside, 45 written, 46, so add 46, 47 written, 48 written, 49 written, so 50, add 50 outside, so this is the Venn diagram for all. Now B, list the elements of A intersect C. A intersect C, 41, 43, 47, 41, 43, 47. B, union C, not or not the union. This B union C, so not all the elements around this region. So 49, 44, 46, 50. 49, 44, 46, and 50. C, find N means number of A intersect B intersect C. A intersect B intersect C, there is no elements between the three sets, so zero. The number zero. Number six, Rahim makes baskets and mats. Each week he makes X baskets and Y mats. He makes fewer than 10 mats. The number of mats he makes is greater than or equal the number of baskets he makes. One of the inequalities that shows this information is Y less than 10. Write down the other inequality. So Y less than 10, this means he makes fewer than 10 mats. And we need to write the inequality, the other inequality, the number of mats, which is y, he makes is it greater than or equal. So y greater than or equal. The number of baskets he makes, so greater than or equal x. So this is the second inequality. He takes four and a half hours to make a basket and one and a half hours to make a mat. Each week he works for a maximum 22.5 hours. Show that 3x plus 2y less than or equal 30. The time to make one basket is 2 and 1 over 4 hours. So the time for x baskets, 2 and 1 over 4 times x. 
سيم the time for one math is one and a half hours so the time for y math one and a half time is y and because the maximum time is 22.5 so this less than or equal 22.5 now we can multiply by 4 to cancel this fraction 2 and 1 over 4 times 4 equals 9 so 9x 1 and a half times 4 equals 6 so 6y less than or equal 22.5 times 4 equals 90 now you can divide by 3 so 3x plus 2y less than or equal 30 C on the grid draw three straight lines and shade the unwanted regions to show these inequalities. So the three inequalities y less than ten and y more than or equal x and three x plus two y less than or equal thirty. Now to represent the first inequality y less than 10, I draw the line y equals 10, y equals 10, horizontal line intersect y axis at 10, but take care this line should be dashed line because we don't have equal, so y less than 10, so draw dashed line, not solid line. Now shade the region above because I need the region below, so shade this region. Next inequality y more than or equal x. So we need to draw the line y equal x and this solid line y equal x passing through the point 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 2, 16 and 16. So you can join this point 0 and 0 and 16 and 16. Join them. So this is the line y equals x. I need y more than or equal more than or equal x. So I need the region above the line. So shade the region below the line. So this is our line, solid line. I need above the line, so shade the region below the line. So we need to shade this region. the last line we need two points to draw for the last inequality we need to draw the line 3x plus 2y equals 30 so to draw this line we need two points x and y now if x equals 0 So 3x will be 0, so 2y equals 30 divided by 2 divided by 2, so y equals 15. Now if y equals 0, so 2y equals 0, so 3x equals 30 divided by 3 divided by 3, so x equals 10. So put x equals 0, then find y, and put y equals 0, then find x. So 0, 15, and 10, 0. 0, 15, this is the point. 10, 0, this is the second point, join them, Zero fifteen ten zero. 15, 10, 0, this solid line because we have equal sign, now I need less than or equal, so I need the region below, so shade the region above, so shade this region. So this is the region R, which unshaded region. So this the region satisfies the three inequalities. D, he makes $40 profit on each basket he sells. 
and twenty-eight dollars profit on each mat he sells. Calculate the maximum profit he can make each week. So, if he made X baskets, so the profit will be forty times X. And Y mat, so twenty-eight times Y. So this is the profit. We need to find the maximum profit. So from the corners. Now this point give you profit more than that one, so you don't need to try. And this point give you profit more than that one, so you don't need to try this one or that one. So the two points, you need to try them, this one and that one. These two corners, this one and that one. But because this point belongs to the dashed line, so you can take this point directly, so you can take the closest point for that one on the line, which is this point. Now find the coordinate for, for these two points, this point, 6 and 6, that point, 4 and 9. Now find the cost from each one of them. From 4 and 9, the cost will be 40 times 4 plus 28 times 9 equals 412. From the other point, which is 6 and 6, the cost 40 multiplied by 6 plus 28 times 6 equals 408 so the maximum profit 412 dollars number seven the diagram shows the position of three points a b and c in a field show that bc is 118.1 meter correct to one decimal place we can find bc using cosine rule because we have two sides and included angle so BC equal square root 8 squared plus 115 squared minus 2 times 80 times 115 cosine of 72 equals 118.1 to one decimal place B calculate angle ABC so we need to find angle B now we have BC 118.1 now to find angle B we can use sine rule 115 over sine B equals 118.1 over sine 72 so 118.1 over sine 72 equals 115 over sine B so now you can find angle B in one step sine inverse then bracket and we have fraction inside the bracket now cross multiply 115 sine 72 divide 118.1 115 sine 72 divide 118.1 equals 67.821 decimal now see the bearing of c from a c from a is 147 find the bearing of a from b and b from c first Bearing of C from A is 147, so C from A, so this is the north, the bearing is the angle from the north clockwise, so this means this angle is 147. Now we need to find bearing A from B, A from B, so you need to draw the north at B. A from B 
So start from the north and move clockwise till you reach the line between A and B. So we need to find this angle A from B. So to find this one, you need to find this angle. Now 147 minus 72, you can find that one. So this angle, 75. This angle, 75. 75. Because 147 minus 75 is 75. Now, if this angle 75, we can find that one because they add up to 180. So 180 minus 75 equals 105. So this angle 105. Now, to find if this angle 105, you can find that one 360 minus 105. So 360 minus 105 equals 255. So the bearing 255 A from B. So the bearing A from B is 255. Now B from C. To find bearing B from C, you need to draw the north at C, which is parallel to the, the north from A or from B. So we need to draw the north from C. This is the north. B from C, we need to find this angle. So we need to find this small angle. We can find this angle if we can find that one because they add up to 180. So this part 105. So we need to find this one, this part, the small angle. We found before and it is 67.8. So this angle 67.8 and this angle 105. Now if we add them, we can find that one. Because add up to 180. So, so if you consider that this B and C. So we need to find bearing B from C. We need to find that one. And this angle you can find from by adding 105 and 60. 105 and 67.8. So this angle 172.8. Now you can find that one which is 180 minus 180 minus 172.8 equals 7.2 degrees. Now D, Mitch will take 35 seconds to run from A to C. Calculate his average speed in kilometers per hour. So to find the speed, divide the distance, which is 115 meters, by the time which is 35 so 115 meters divide by 35 seconds if we need the answer in kilometers per hour so convert meters to kilometers and second to hour so you can divide the numerator by 1000 to convert to kilometers and divide the second by 3600 to convert to hour and write this fraction in your calculator to get the answer. So the answer equals 11.8 kilometers per hour. Now E calculate the shortest distance from B to AC. The shortest distance is the perpendicular distance. So from B drop perpendicular to AC. So we need to find this distance. You can use this triangle. This angle 72, we need to find the opposite and we have the hypotenuse which is 80. So sine 72 equals x, stand for the shortest distance, over the hypotenuse which is 80. So now x equals 80 sine 72 equals 76.1 to 1 decimal place. Number 8. AI. On the axis, sketch the graph y equals sine x for x more than or equal 0, less than or equal 360. The graph for sine. This is the graph for sine. The maximum 1 and the minimum negative 1. 
and the period 360 start from 0 and equals 1 at 90 then 0 at 180 then negative 1 at 270 then 0 at 360 and the period 360 now so 0 and 0 this is the first point 90 and 1 the second point 180 and 0 270 and negative 1 360 and 0 so join the points So this is the graph for sine. This graph for the symmetry of the graph y equals sine x for x more than or equal 0 and less than or equal 360. To describe the symmetry of the graph, you need to find the number of symmetry and the order of rotational of symmetry. For the line of symmetry, we don't have any line of symmetry for this graph because we cannot draw any line divide this graph into two halves and each one of them matches which is the other so number of line of symmetry zero for the order of rotational of symmetry this is the center of the graph if we rotate this shape 180 you get the same shape so you can see the shape two times in a full turn so the order of rotation of symmetry 2 so no line of symmetry the order of rotation of symmetry 2 about the center 180 and 0 b solve 4 sin x minus 1 equals 2 and x more than or equal 0 less than or equal 360 so to solve this inequality make sin x is a subject so 4 sin x equals transpose negative 1 to the other side by positive so 4 sin x equal 3 divide by 4 so sin x equal 3 over 4 now use your calculator to find the acute angle which has sin 3 over 4 so sin inverse 3 over 4 equals 48.6 to one decimal now sin positive sin positive in which quadrant from the astic rule sin positive in the first which is theta and the second which is 180 minus theta so 48.6 is the first solution and the other solution 180 minus 48.6 which is 131.4 ci write x squared plus 10x plus 14 in the form x plus a squared plus b Use completing square x squared plus 10x can be written as x plus 5 all squared minus 5 squared then plus 14 negative 5 squared so negative 25 negative 25 plus 14 negative 11 so x plus 5 squared minus 11 Now from the vertex 4, we can find the vertex or the turning point. Change the inner, keep the outer, so negative 5 and negative 11. Negative 5, negative 11. And draw, because the coefficient of x squared positive, so the curve opens upward. So this is the graph negative 5 negative 11 is the vertex or the turning point number 9 the diagram shows a sector of a circle with center o radius 8 and sector angle 165 calculate the total perimeter of the sector the perimeter of the sector radius plus radius plus arc so 8 plus 8 plus the length of the arc equals the angle which is 165 over 360 times 2 by r so times 2 by and the radius 8 equals 
to three significant figures. B, the surface area of a sphere is the same as the area of the sector. Calculate the radius of the sphere. So, the surface area of the sphere equals 4 by r squared equals the area of the sector, which is 165 over 360 by 8 squared because the radius for the sector is 8. Now you can cancel by with by. So to find r squared, 165 over 360 times 8 squared over 4. Then to find r, square root the answer. So square root 165 over 360 times 8 squared over 4 equals 2.71 to 3 significant figures. Now see, a cone is made from the sector, this sector, by joining OA and OB. Calculate the radius R of the cone. So the length of the sector equals the circumference of the circle, which is the base of the cone. So length of sector equals circumference of the circle. So 2 by R equals the length of the sector which is 165 over 360 times 2 by 8 you can cancel by with by and 2 is 2 so the radius equals 3.67 to 3 significant figures double i calculates the volume of the cone the volume of the cone 1 over 3 by r squared times height so 1 over 3 by r squared so 3.67 squared times the height to find the height we have the radius 3.67 and the slant height is the radius of the sector so this is 8 so to find the height square root 8 squared minus 3.67 squared equals 7.11 so now to find the volume multiply by 7.11 so equals equals 100.28 centimeter square so three significant figures 100 centimeter square number 10 10a a rhombus A, B, C, D has diagonal A, C, where A is the point negative 3, 10, C is the point 4, negative 4, calculate the length of A, C. Now draw the rhombus. In the rhombus, the diagonals are perpendicular. So A, B, C, D. We have A and C, and in the rhombus, the diagonals are perpendicular. So this angle 90. Now to find the length of AC, of AC, you can use distance formula. AC equals square root x minus x, so negative 3 minus 4, all squared, plus y minus y, so 10 minus negative 4, all squared, equals 15.7 to 3 significant figures. Double I shows that the equation of the line AC is Y equals negative 2X plus 4. To find the equation of the line AC, you need to find the gradient of AC. Y minus Y, so negative 4 minus 10, over X minus X, so 4 minus negative 3, so negative 14, over 7 equals negative 2. So the equation Y equals negative 2X plus C. Now substitute by any point to find C. You can substitute by the point A, which is negative 3 and 10. So 10 equals negative 2 times negative 3 plus C. So 10 equals 6 plus C. So C equals 4. 
So the equation of the line y equals negative 2x plus 4. Triple I find the equation of the line BD. BD is perpendicular to AC. So the gradient of BD is the negative reciprocal for the gradient of AC. So 1 over 2. So the equation of BD, 1 over 2, x plus c. To find c, the diagonals in the rhombus bisect each other. So the midpoint of AC is the same midpoint of BD. So we need to find the midpoint of AC. Midpoint of AC, which is the same midpoint of BD, equals x plus x over 2. So negative 3 plus 4 over 2. And y plus y over 2. So 10 plus negative 4 over 2 equals 1 over 2 and 3. So now substitute by this point. So 3 equals half times half plus c. So c equals 3 minus 1 over 4 equals 11 over 4. So the equation y equals half x plus 11 over 4. B, a curve has equation y equal x bar 3 plus 8x bar 2 plus 5x. Work out the coordinates of the two turning points. To find the turning points, find dy over dx and equate by 0. dy over dx equals 3x squared plus 16x plus 5. Equate by 0 and solve. You can solve using factorization or formula. Or you can use your calculator mode 5, 3. To find the two values get two values negative 5 and negative 1 over 3 so if you need to write the working so x plus 5 and 3x plus 1 equals 0 now for each value of x you can find y so now substitute by negative 5 in the original equation you get y equals 50 and if you substitute by x equal negative 1 over 3 in the original equation, you get x uh, you get y equals y equals negative 22 over 27. So the points negative 5 and 50, negative 1 over 3, and negative 22 over 27. Determine whether each of the turning point is a maximum or a minimum, give a reason for your answers. To find the nature of the turning point, you can find the second derivative. The second derivative, the derivative of the derivative, so a derivative of 3x squared plus 16x plus 5, so the second derivative, 6x plus 16. Now, for the point which has x equal negative 5, now substitute, so the second derivative, 6 times negative 5, plus 16, so negative 30 plus 16, equals negative 14, so this maximum point. For the other value, when x equals negative 1 over 3, so the second derivative, 6 times negative 1 over 3, plus 16, positive, so minimum point.